Hey, shalom, yo shalom. When the stuff was by giving all praise, yeah, but show me how shy. Double on the supports of GMS and the honesty, but that doing the work in truth, was sincerity. Uh, you know, I'll just let the video roll, Lord, or you can hear, uh, you know, what's being said. Now, you're going to be, um, in this truth, you're going to go through hell, man. You're going to go to the scripture saying, Isaiah, Ezekiel 9 and 4, you know, set the mark upon the men that sigh and cry. But look, man, we have a, uh, we have a kingdom of heaven coming to us. We have this knowledge, so you're not supposed to be walking around with a fucking depressed demon. Woe is me, you know, like walking around like this, with your fucking head down and shit, all depressed and all effed up in the head. You're supposed to have a ruling class mentality. You're supposed to be, hey man, every day that goes by, we're getting closer to the end. A lot of shit going on, so you're supposed to be ecstatic and it's supposed to build you up, man. And if you are feeling like that, come around, brothers, bro. Okay, come around, brothers. You come around, brothers. Your mind it strengthens your mind, it strengthens your spirit. Right, and you know that's the point I wanted to speak on. How you know in this world we dealing with the demons that we got to deal with, but you know one of the antidotes for all of that. You know you got fasting, you got prayer. One of the other antidotes for that is is being around the brethren, man. You know, because you know as 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 the elder was saying there, when you around brothers, man, it builds you up in the spirit again. Each time I've been, as the elder was saying, each time I've felt a bit low, you know, just rang up a brother and said, hey man, you know, you know, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's link up, you know, do something spiritual or whatever, what have you, you know, and then at the end of the session, you feel a lot better, right? Because at the end of the day, we're all one body, right? When, you know, and you understand, but the body, your body works to heal itself, man. Body works together to heal itself, right? So I'm just going to, Bring up a few scriptures on 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 the brotherhood. And this is uh, this is this is one of them gems of a scripture, right? This is Psalms one thirty three and one says, "Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity, right? Because everyone else in in the world, man, you know, is you know, is their enemy, right? If you if you ever watch the Matrix, what it said, it said um, it basically everyone who ain't out of the Matrix is potentially an agent." Right, so at the end of the day, we're the only people that we have for each other. Right, the Yahweh asked, "Who's my, who's my mother, and my brother, and my father?" Right, is this is the people that we're in this thing together with? Right. This is Luke twenty-two, and start from thirty-one. It says, "And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not." And when thou converted, strengthen thy brethren. So that's what we have to do, as um, you know, as, as as members of camps and stuff. We're supposed to be strengthening brothers. You know, certain times, you know, you might see your brothers looking down. Hey, might might send up a prayer for him. You know, I remember Apostle Ricard basically he was as at, at, at the camp was basically speaking on one of the prayers you could say for your brothers. You know, you pray that the Most High heals them. You pray that the Most High strengthens them. You pray that the Most High builds them up in the spirit. You know, maybe even say, hey man, is there anything up? You speak to them and you strengthen strengthen the brethren, man. There's a term in basketball, you're only as strong as the weakest man. So if we're out here and we're, 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 we're battling, you know, against, scriptures say we battle not against flesh and blood, but against spirits and principalities, man, in high places. Right, so we have to have, we all have to be tight, man. Yeah, if you see your brothers going low, you're supposed to watch out for the brother, because that's love. Because you'd hope if people are, you know, see your low, you'd hope that maybe, you know, my, my brothers might come and strengthen you. You know, it says, Sirach 6 and 14 says, a faithful friend is a strong defense. Right, and every brother in the camp, man, if they are truly a brother, that's, that's, that's a faithful friend. Hey, man, these, you know, when brothers are in, in a jam or whatever, happy brothers will help each other out. You don't see that in the world. In the world, a guy might, you know, guy might give do you a favor, and then he expects something back. Whereas in the brotherhood, hey man, if a brother's uptight, no another brother will help him. If a brother needs a lift, a brother will help him. And it, it ain't gonna be a thing of, oh yeah, I helped you. You need to do this, that, and the other for me. Why? Because it's all about the brotherhood, man. Now I'm gonna end on Ecclesiastes four and nine. Says two are better than one. Right, because they have a good reward for their labor. Hey yeah, man, you got that saying, um, don't really know what it is fully. It's something like uh, a problem 
shared is a problem halved or something like that. You know, so, hey man, when you let them demons fester in your mind, sometimes better to talk to someone about it. You know, when you're around the brothers, hey man, I'm going through this, that and the other. Brother, hey brother, you know, we'll, you know, we'll exhort you, you know, say, say what you need to hear. That's why that spiritual conversation is good also. Well, right, because there's been times I'll be with the brethren and we'll be just having a spiritual conversation and a brother says something that you didn't even realise you were feeling, man. And then you're sitting and you're just there like, damn, oh shit, I'd even, I'd even observe that about myself. And the brother thing is, brother might have been talk, completely talking about something else, but it hits you. You know, a brother might say something and then you make you start question yourself oh shit you know I, maybe I'm not pushing harder maybe I need to do this that and the other you know but hey you know sort of that just wanted to speak on that point man you know because the brotherhood man hey Lord set it up for a reason man and you brothers in the camp I'm sure you can testify that when you're when you're with, with um when you look at when you look at camps and the way the most I set it up the most I set it up literally has a body some brothers do this better than other brothers, but all in all, it's a good unit. All in all, so it's a functional unit. So, you know, with that, I'm just going to say, um, you know, double on supposed to, well, all praise Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, double on supposed to GMS, and honestly, brothers are doing the work in truth, while sincerity, Shalom.